Well, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're doing it to, I'm Bushka on Blitz, and I need you to drop everything. Pens down, bums on seats, and pay attention for the next four minutes, because I'm going to be talking to you about a tank that has got me absolutely revved up. I don't know if it's going to be a monster, I don't know if it's going to be a mouse, but what I do know is it's like nothing you have ever seen in World of Tanks Blitz before this. Take the most accurate weapon you can think of, whack it on top of a light tank chassis, and you still wouldn't have what we've got here, which is basically a sewing machine with a laser beam strapped to it. This thing has a 0.27 dispersion, 150 millimeter gun. Now we're not talking about a light tank or a medium tank with a laser beam. We're talking about a proper 750 alpha monster gun with a 0.27 dispersion degree of difficulty. Uh, 1.5 seconds of aim time means you don't have to lead a target by next to anything. And 279 millimeters of pen on your AP and 334 on your heat mean you're going through just about any target you can hit like a knife through butter. What's holding it back, you might ask? Well, as you can see from these images, there's no armor on the back of that gun. In fact, there's no armor anywhere. They got it to go this fast by taking everything out of the armor profile. You're gonna be hit by HE from just about everyone and it's gonna pen. So be careful, it is a dangerous tank to drive, but I can't wait to get my hands on one. I'm gonna be running a rammer, obviously for the gun, a set of binoculars because I want to be able to see people from far away and a camo net because I don't want them to see me. It's really a unique play style for me and something I'm looking forward to trying. The gun is so accurate that it just gives you the willies when you start driving it and snapping people at extremely long distances. Look at this T110E4. We're going to hit it exactly where we point the gun at and that is absolutely a godsend and it's not a little weak thing. You want to hit the rear wheel of an IS4 no problems boys and girls and you're going to do it for an excess of 700 damage drive bys on t110e5s let's do it but you're going to be hiding you're going to be behind walls you're going to be behind tanks you're going to be behind your teammates because if you get lit up in this thing you are going to get absolutely wrecked what can i say it's unique it's fun it's fast and it's got a laser so you pay for that mobility, you pay for that gun, and you pay for it with an incredible fragility. It is the most glass cannon-esque tank I have ever driven in my entire life, even more than the RU251 or the SP1C. And you've got to be very, very careful that you don't let that speed and power go to your head, because if you get up close and personal, even with your gun arc and your 24 degrees of traverse, you will get wrecked old school style. You will get pipe upside the head, belted. Do not be fooled. The tank's absolutely fantastic weaponry and gun handling. It's very forgiving gun depression stats are not to be trifled with. Do not drive it at 60 kilometers an hour in an unholy drive by another tier X tank because if they see you coming and they set up a HE shell, you're getting lit up for full value, for a full measure of devotion. That's it, boys and girls. That's the Grill 15. I'm Bush Gone Blitz. It's been lovely. As always, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, and if you're interested in sponsoring the nonsense, go along to the Patreon page and set yourself up there. There's a Telegram channel for patrons and sponsors, and there's also exclusive content at www.bushgoneblitz.com behind the sponsors wall. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really looking forward to the Grill 15. It's a fantastic looking vehicle. I don't know how it's going to go on live, but we're going to find out. Stay safe on the battlefield.